Hey there, Jim and Cindy, we're back. We're here from out of pocket. Today, we're gonna to be going through the modifications, personalizations, and upgrades we've done in the van since we bought it. This is a follow-on to our 60-day review uh, that we released a short time ago. You may or may not have heard us say we're going to be doing this review of these products because our audio was a little challenging with the first video. But we have got new microphones with dead cats on the end because literally it's either raining or windy where we live. So we're going to go through the things that we've done to the van to really make it our own and try to improve the livability. I've put links to each of the things that we will go through um, as much as I can in the description. So if you like any of them for yourself, you can click through and see the exact product that we used. This is part one of two videos because, yes, we've done a lot of things to our pocket. <laughs> so stay tuned for the second video after this one. Okay, let's do it. All right. So the first big upgrade that we made was to put in this carpet set from Inhabit Design Works. This material they use is like a soft canvas weave with some foam padding on the back compared to the original floor, which is this vinyl plasticky feeling thing. So these are nice mats. They're pretty easy to install. In some spots you have to use snaps. You can see a few snaps that we put in here. They have a great tutorial and good instructions. It's actually really easy to put these in. This mat set it just makes us so much more comfortable to move around in the van, walk around, nice soft floor. Um, comes in three parts. You have the center section of the van, you have a section for the front seating area here, and then there's a third section that goes um, in the back of the van. So here's the back mat. Here they all, these two connect with like a Velcro. Um, when we ordered the mats, they're made specifically for the Solus Pocket, so they're all sized to fit. We had a little bit of a tight fit on this rear mat and when we first got it. It buckled a little and it turns out that the specifications of these cabinets and the tolerances aren't really that close from Solus Pocket to Solus Pocket. So worked with John at Inhabit. He sent me another one, a little bit skinnier, went right in here perfectly. The only downside to this rear mat is that it blocks the L-Tracks. So if you want to bring bikes and use these L-Tracks, you have to take this rear mat out. Now I've come up with a solution for this. Um, I'm going to do a whole separate video on traveling with bikes in the pocket, different mountain bikes, gravel bikes, and so on. And I've got a solution to that. Uh, but these mats are great. They are warm on your feet. They quiet down the cabin a little bit. And if you have socks on or even just bare feet, you can walk around. You don't get the little gravel. And, uh, that plasticky feeling on your feet. So this was a great upgrade. It's not the cheapest thing, but it's a great upgrade for the van. We also got the ProMaster Cab Accessory Kit from Inhabit, which are great little inserts for areas in the cab to kind of brighten them up. Initially, of course, everything's kind of this gray, which is totally fine, and we like it, but these inserts brighten it up a bit it in. You can immediately see all of your things. They go for those areas, the cup holders, you can always see where you put your keys, even little ones in the door. Just makes it a little brighter, a little more fun. Okay. Inhabit also has a matching floor mat that you can get for in front when you come out nice little place so you can put things. We actually used it when we went out to view the eclipse and to tape it. We were at a ski resort, snow everywhere. This waterproof mat was perfect for all of our camera gear and for us. It also comes with these stakes so it won't blow away. And it's made out of the same heavy duty material as the rest of the flooring. So this mat set is great, but we do live in the Northeast. Right now it's mud season. It was winter before this. You get a lot of stuff that you track in on your feet. So we also got the WeatherTech rubber mats. They sit right on top of the Inhabit Design Works mat. I was a little worried on the driver's side with the gas pedal, but everything works fine. So in the winter or mud season, we put these in. We get in and out of the van. Your boots collect the stuff. They do move around a little because they're on top of the canvas mat 
you can't really attach them, so they tend to float a little bit here and there. But overall, it's totally manageable. It's great to have all that water, mud, dirt, just get captured in this thing, which you can dump out and protect the mats underneath. The next area we looked to upgrade was this kitchen work area where the sink is when you first get the van. You have this taken up by the sink and then this taken up by the stove. And this is a slippery glass, so you really don't have a work area. So we were able to get this cutting board adjustable thing that fits right in there. So that gives you a nice workspace. And then this is actually a prototype from Inhabit Design Works. They make these for the countertop of a number of different vans. The Solus Pocket I don't think is released yet, but this is kind of like a trial to see how it works. This probably will be one piece in the eventual design, but we ended up with this um, from working with John at Inhabit. So this gives you a lot more workspace, set things here, making food, whatever. You have a nice big counter. There is counter space under the bed. If you fold up the bed, you get a counter that extends back this way, but we like to keep the bed down. You can keep it made, luggage down there, luggage up top. So this, this is a good set of changes that makes it a lot more convenient just to live in the van. So we put in some levels to on the side right here so that we would know when the van was level because for sleeping. Because literally, uh, the first time I ever slept in a sleeping side vehicle, uh, my head was downhill. I felt like I was being buried in an avalanche all night. Jim doesn't have that problem, but I do. Uh, so we got these levels so we would know and keep our head leveled up a little bit, which is a little more comfortable for sleeping. We haven't used them much yet, though, so I'm not entirely sure this was the way to go. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> So we also needed a mirror because we discovered that in the mornings when you're making sure your hair's not flying around, there's no mirrors in the pocket. So we got what I think is a cool solution. We got a mirror that people sell to kids to put in their lockers. It's got a handy little magnet right in back. We found three pieces of metal that we could stick on here. We're not sure what they were from, but it works great. You just put it right on, line it up, and even in the worst washer board, it doesn't come off. The next two mods that we made to the van are from the same company, Open Glass Van Mods. Uh, the first one is this little metal thing that has like a very high bond, like a VHB tape on the back, and you place it along the slide rail for the cargo door, and it creates an intermediate stop. Normally when you open the door, it rose, rolls all the way to the back all the time, which can be kind of a pain. So with this addition, there it is, there's now an intermediate stop. So even if you're on a little bit of an incline, you can stop the door here. You can place it wherever you want. We placed it so it's just wide enough to avoid hitting the fridge on the way in. So you can have it only open this far most of the time, which is a lot easier than reaching your arm all the way back for the door every time. So that was a good upgrade, really simple. Installs in three seconds and you're done. Second mod that we made, which also comes from open glass fan mods, is to replace this handle on the cargo door. It is kind of a heavy door. You really have to muscle it sometimes to get it to open and close, especially if you are on an incline. So the small handle that it came with was really too small. So they make a larger handle, so it gives you a little something bigger to grab, pull on in either direction. Again, a very quick install, one little bolt in here and you're done. And they have this little hook, I guess, for to hook something. I've never used it. But otherwise, I think this is a good addition to managing the cargo door. This falls under the heading of personalization. A couple of Christmases ago, our son gave us it, stickers to personalize surfaces from a company. These are called Infinity Stickers from the Infinity Company, a woman-owned company. And they've got all different kinds of stickers of vinyl stickers that you can put onto surfaces. You can also remove them. It's not permanent and they don't have a lot of residue. Uh, we chose to put up stickers that are places that we've been to. Arches National Park, Banff. Uh, we also have, if you can see it, uh, Appalachia and the Grand Teton. We'd like to travel around a lot. And these are just something fun, just to, you know, make it a little more personal, a little brighter. The next upgrade was this seat back storage organizer. 
when you're coming in out of the van, there's always a lot of little things that you want to access all the time. I got this. This is a Cart Heart one. Just seem to be the right blend of simplicity. Um, they make ones that are all like for holding guns and all this stuff. We don't need that. Something simple to hold some key things. I put these little mini carabiners on it. These are the keys to the bike rack lock. Um, here, this is the Allen wrench to take the bike rack on and off. We have a headlamp in here. This little cloth we use because the rearview mirror is a camera. So when you're in bad weather, you know, sometimes you need to, to, to wipe it off. So this is good just to keep a bunch of small, convenient things organized, handy. You go in and out of the van, open the door, reach in. The things that you need most often are here. So this has been great. Another upgrade that we put in here is a weather station because although you can always tell how warm it is inside the pocket with its heat control panel, you don't always know how warm it is outside the pocket and we've been in some pretty cold snowy situations so we have right here the in the weather station that we can see and you can even see it from the bed which is key when you're thinking about getting out of bed and we have the outside thermometer right here in our handy little organizer on its own little mini carabiner so when we arrive we go outside and we hook it up it's sturdy enough that if we forget to take it off and drive away, it's okay. But it stays right there and we'll know what the temperature is. We really like that. That has been a great thing to know when you're trying to get ready to go out to wear enough clothes. This is a good time to break. We've got a lot more to go over, so stay tuned for part two. In the meantime, let us know what you think. And don't forget, like and subscribe.